I'm going to jump rope for a week and see if it does any difference to my body. I did take a before video. I'm going to take an after video as well to see if there's any progress made. But yeah, let's go work out, I guess. Let's see. So I forgot to record my weigh-in, but my weight fluctuates anywhere between 176 and 175. My goal for day one was 300 jumps, but I actually did 400 because I felt I could do it. Um, <laughs> I had my hair done because I started filming this a day after my birthday, but needless to say, this workout kicked my ass. And I had to wash my hair like immediately after I was done. Today's day two um i'm getting ready to go jump rope again i was fine yesterday like i wasn't in pain so i was like oh bet i'm not gonna wake up sore tomorrow my calves hurt so much so besides that little oopsie and the weather being really humid and rainy and gross i did 500 jumps on this day and I noticed that my calves were just hurting after working out and before, but not actually during, or at least not as much as I thought it was going to hurt. On day three, I did 600 jumps and my legs were so sore, like super sore. I was in pain, but like I said, it wasn't really hurting while I was jumping. It was just mostly like after at night or the day after. On day four, I did 700 jumps and I think it was the fact that I worked out inside. It threw me off and I just kept messing up and I was getting so frustrated. I was dehydrated because I had drank the night before. I did not wake up early enough to work out. So I was just not having a good workout day, but I still did my 700 um, and I had to keep taking multiple breaks because I kept stepping on the damn rope. I was so not having a good workout day this day. So on day five, I jumped rope 800 times. My mom's car was in the driveway, so I kind of had to shift over a little bit. But this was fine. I didn't care about the sun being out. I just, I was grateful to be outside again. And I just felt myself jumping so much more without getting that exhausted as I was in the beginning. On day six, I jumped rope 900 times, I had a good workout outfit on, and then my insecurity said no. <laughs> but it's okay, not all days can be good days. But I actually had a pretty good workout this day as well. My calves weren't hurting that much. I think I had already gotten used to the pain by this point. And then finally on day seven, I did 1,000 jumps and I actually did 100 straight jumps without stopping and I was so proud of myself. I hadn't done that on any previous day. Um, I feel like my form, like my legs was somewhat better than how it was when I started. My resistance was high. Like I was feeling so good by day seven. And I honestly felt like I could keep going for a few more days. So these are my final results. Uh, day one on the right versus day seven on the left. After I finished filming that um, after clip of day seven, uh, I actually weighed myself and I was down to 172. So I feel like the videos couldn't you couldn't really tell much but i can see on this scale that i actually did lose like three four pounds so i'm hoping it stays that way like i don't want to gain those four pounds back so i am probably going to keep jumping rope i mean i have been i finished this challenge like three days ago um and i have been jumping rope every day since so i want to keep it going i want to see if i can lose maybe a little bit more weight um but yeah, I think this was pretty successful. I It wasn't that bad. Like I thought it was going to be way worse. My calves don't even hurt that much right now. Like not anymore. I think I got used to it. But I am trying to jump rope now 20 to 25 minutes a day instead of counting them. So I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's worse. But um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that this is legit and i did lose some weight but yeah that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys hopefully in my next video bye